Microsoft, what are you doing? No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. I try to defend you and then you pull stuff like this. Seriously. No, no, no. You're not going to blame this on an accident. Get your act together. Seriously. So it turns out Microsoft enabled ads in File Explorer, but it's okay. It was just an accident. Let's talk about it after a word from our sponsor. Yeah, give me Apple on the phone. This week's sponsor is me. If you'd like to support this channel, the best way is to pick up a t-shirt at cybercputech.com. All my t-shirts are extremely high quality and durable. These are the same shirts I wear in videos. So if you like the shirt I'm wearing, then head over to cybercputech.com and pick yourself up one today. No, 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 you're not gonna blame this on an accident. Get your act together. So I try to read all of your comments Sometimes there's just more than I can read, but most of the time I see them all. Now, I don't have a chance to respond to all of them, but I definitely try to read as many of them as I can. Recently, I've seen a few comments from people about Microsoft adding ads to the File Explorer in Windows. When I saw the first one, honestly, I didn't really believe it. But then I saw a few more and I decided to Google it and there's actually kind of some truth to it. You see, what happened was Microsoft accidentally released a version of the File Explorer through the development preview channel that had ads enabled. Now, Microsoft claims that this was an accident and it was never intended to be published. Now, while I appreciate their quick response, I really think they missed the point. We now know for a fact that Microsoft has the capability of displaying ads in File Explorer. But then again, we already knew that because this is not the first time Microsoft has done this. They also did this back in 2017 to promote their OneDrive service. So we've already known for a long time that Microsoft has the ability to display ads in the File Explorer. But you know what? What gets me is why everyone is so surprised about it. If you really think about it, we've been dealing with ads in Windows for a really long time. So this is really nothing new. I've even mentioned it in videos before. Windows 10 comes pre-installed with tons of ads right in the start menu. In fact, it's not only that, but if you have suggested apps turned on, then they have reoccurring ads appearing all the time. Now, you don't think Microsoft suggests apps out of the kindness of their heart, do you? No, they're getting paid. They don't just think you're going to love playing Cherry Crush. Someone paid them to recommend that to you. And Windows 11 has brought it to a whole new level. I mean, we're talking about Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, Netflix. I've even seen Photoshop Elements. And these are all in the start menu by default when you install Windows 11. Now, I haven't used Windows 11 for long enough to know for sure, but I'm sure Microsoft is capable of adding more icons to your start menu at a later time too. So like I said before, I don't know why everyone is surprised by this. And in reality, Microsoft is not the only company doing this. Apple bombards their users with ads all the time. You get ads for iCloud, Apple TV, and numerous other Apple products that they want to push in your face. And let's not leave Google out of this. At least once a week, I get Google asking me if I want to join YouTube Premium. You know, that one I may actually do. It would be kind of nice playing videos on my Roku without having to watch commercials. And you know what? That's actually the point I want to get to. Ads aren't inherently a bad thing. Granted, I don't want them plastered all over my operating system, but simply the concept of ads isn't a bad thing by default. For instance, you probably watched an ad prior to this video, and I appreciate that. It helps pay for the stuff that I do on this channel. But there's a line moving that I believe people are not ready for. That's ads being integrated into our operating system itself. And whether we like it or not, I think this is gonna be the new normal going forward. Windows, for all sakes and purposes, is essentially free now. Microsoft allows people to upgrade to the new version of Windows through previous licenses. But in reality, it's not really free. Microsoft has just changed the type of payment method that you're using when purchasing a new version of Windows. You remember the saying, if you're not paying for the product, then 
The product is you. Microsoft has moved to a form of monetization that internet companies have been using for years, decades in fact. The reason why services like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and others exist is through collecting data on you and using it to display ads. Now, this is the reason why I think Microsoft pushes Edge so hard, because as long as you're using Edge, then Microsoft can complete the second half of that transaction, you know, showing you ads, in a much less controversial way. You know, the data mining is still happening behind the scenes within the operating system without your knowledge, and that data is then used to display ads. If Microsoft can show you those ads in Edge, then they won't get as much pushback. But you know what? It seems like we've already accepted ads in the start menu, and most people aren't even bothered by notification ads anymore. So it's odd that people would get upset with ads in File Explorer. I think this is a good example of that line being moved. 10 years ago, people would have been just as upset over ads in the start menu as they are today about ads in File Explorer. Because back then, the line was at the browser. Today, the line is simply moved into the user interface. But if ads start showing up in File Explorer, then the line would be moving more into the core of the operating system. But then again, you have to remember that 10 years ago, we had to pay $100 every time a new version of Windows came out. Would we be willing to pay for Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube today if those services were ad-free? I'm sure some people would. YouTube Premium is a great example of that. You know, with YouTube Premium, Google has essentially said, if you don't wanna watch the ads, then fine. Pay us and we'll get rid of them. Maybe at some point, Facebook, Twitter, and other services will try the same thing. But you know, I think with Windows, Microsoft is trying to get the best of both worlds. On a new system, you still have to pay full price for a license for Windows. A Windows that's bombarded with data mining and ads. Now, sound off in the comments below and tell me if you'd be willing to accept the ads if there was no license fee for Windows at all. Or are you happy paying the initial license fee for Windows and then getting free upgrades to new versions based on an advertising model? You know, personally, I don't mind the current system. I don't have a problem debloating Windows to remove most of the data mining. Also, the initial license fee is fine because if you think about it, it's kind of a leash for Microsoft. They're a lot less likely to push even more ads and more intrusive data mining as long as that initial license fee exists. Ultimately though, I think advertising within Windows is gonna continue and I think we will eventually accept it. Things like this have a tendency of moving more into the thing and less away from it. I mean, you don't see Facebook and Twitter cutting down on the amount of ads they show. It just continues to grow more and more. Ultimately though, this isn't a bad thing. There's always gonna be an equilibrium of what we will accept versus what we won't. And even if that line moves, it will always be right where we accept it. That's why Microsoft came out and said that the ads in File Explorer were not meant to be released because we're not ready to accept that yet. That's not always gonna be the case. But with that said, if you'd like to de-bloat your copy of Windows because you're not ready to accept where that line currently is, then check out this video where I show you how to manually go through and de-bloat your copy of Windows. Have a great day.